Welcome to Studio Sama Sama. I'm Mei Kei Ho. I'm a graduate from Dazan Academy in 2016. Here is some of my previous work and that's my working space all over here. And then we have this shared room which we keep our exhibition catalogues, some reference books and also some materials. And we also have this open space here. We are open for MV shooting and photo shoot. And also we did um, solo exhibition, three times of solo exhibition and a few of group shows in this space. And over here, our resting place. And this is where we get artist gathering and also some meetings. And we also have this third floor over here, which we storage our old artworks. Uh, my works start in 2016 with this pattern, which is Buku Latehan. Uh, my works inspired from children drawing because I teach children art till now is about 10 years. So I, when I look at their drawings and lines and strokes, it's interesting to see how the kids explore or explain their ideas through drawings. Like they can tell interesting story to, through their doodling on a piece of paper. So I combine it with, this is Buku Latehan. This is our exercise book that we use to do for our homework and writing and all that. So I think it's interesting to try to combine this doodling to the exercise book that fill up our childhood memories. And it brings to this uh, first solo exhibition in 2018, which is 100 marks equal to A plus question mark. As I'm teaching children art and piano, I experience that I can see how the parents force the kids for extra class, for tuition, extra practice to get 100 marks. If you didn't get 100 marks, you come back, my, your, uh, her mom will scold her, sometimes uh, yeah, punishment or so. But that's the question behind how our society judge or measure so success in today's age. Like you get 100 marks, but you with bad behavior, uh, no manners, is that A plus? This is one of the work I would like to talk about is Pilihkan Sekolah Yang Sesuai Untuk Anak Pak Mat. So this work question about our Malaysia education system, whether you choose vocational or traditional school, or you choose, choose government or private school, because there's Islamic school, uh, Chinese school, and Tamil school in Malaysia. So which one suitable for Pak Mat San? I love to flip all these children exercise book, which I think is interesting. Um, the most interesting is the moral one, because they teach the right and wrong by this way, is that it's trigger me to think. For example, this one, uh, this is where they pray, so with Songkok must be Islam, like that's so visual. Like uh, for this is Hindu, uh, Buddha, and Christian. So um, I like to flip all this book, like how they, how our educational book teach us use picture, use image, imagery to teach. I think that's interesting, so I always uh, flip these books and inspired me in my painting, in my drawings or painting. Mm, I used the simple symbol, but for the colour method, I didn't imitate how the kids do yet, because I don't think I can imitate like the feelings, like the strokes that they did. So I just try to use that material, which li relates to childhood, but I don't imitate how the kids draw. I just use my method, which we can control on the lines and stroke. Just make it like a childlike uh, drawings. I did a um, community project, which is called Pengenalan Diri, which we show in Balai Seni uh, in 2019. This work is inspired by uh, an Indian boy in my class. 
I ask them to draw your self-portrait. And after you draw your self-portrait, you can color it. And he refused to choose brown color, and he insists that orange or peach color is nice color skin for his drawing. This um, triggered me to think, OK, so why we can't admit our skin color and we just color what, what is the reality is why we need to follow the culture that paint a uh, lighter skin tone. So this one le uh, leads me to this project called Pengenalan Diri, which I also use this buku latihan uh, papers to ask children and also adults to draw their self-portrait, to think about themselves, write some description of their self. And, and it's, I think it's quite interesting that I can bring uh, public arts to show in our uh, gallery space, which they think I just keep this as my own uh, collection. And this is what I'm working now. Because uh, my work is always discuss or uh, explore on the issues or events that are happening right now and which uh, inspired me to, um, how to say, draw it or paint it on canvas to show another visual or to tell the story in another way around. So these three works is for a recent group exhibition. I try to just paint on smaller canvas. This tree is what we need now. This is waxing, which not exit yes, or yes, it exit. And there's the sanitizer and mask. This is just the first stage of painting. And this work I paint during MCO, because dream house, dream house. Then I think of, okay, everyone stay at home, like doing their own stuff. So this is just one visual that I think of. MCO, like work from home. Everyone, did, everyone is at home. Thanks for visiting my studio and I hope to see you again. Bye. Thank you.